Welcome to our lecture online. Let's do another example with a capacitor to see how readily and easily it is done using the conversion from the time domain to the frequency domain and back to the time domain. Things are a little bit different. We have a 20 volt maximum voltage input, a angular frequency of 60 radians per second, and a phase angle of 30 degrees. And our capacitor has a capacitance of 100 microfarads. So here's our input voltage. We first are going to convert that to the frequency domain, which is rather easy. So the voltage in the frequency domain is equal to the maximum voltage and the phase angle of 30 degrees. And then we realize that the voltage in the frequency domain is equal to the current divided by J omega C. So now from here, we solve that for the current. So we have I is equal to the voltage multiplied times j omega c. If you write it like this, then you can see that when you convert that into the phasor domain or the frequency domain, it makes it easier to do the calculation. So this is going to be equal to, the voltage is defined right here, that's a amplitude of 20 with a phase angle of 30 degrees. And we're going to multiply that times omega c times j. So omega times c, omega is 60, and C is 100 microfarads, which is 0.0001 farad. And then we have a phase angle of J, that would be positive J, positive J, that would be a plus 90 degrees. And now when we multiply these together, we multiply the amplitudes together and add the phase angles, which means that the current I is equal to, well, let's see here, that would be uh, 120, that would be 1200 times this 1200 that would be 0 0.12 0 0.12 and a phase angle of 90 plus 30 which is 120 degrees let's see if i got this right that's 12 that's two zeros that's 1200 that would be one two three yes 0.12 there we go and then we want to convert that back to the uh, time domain and that would be very straightforward. So now we convert back to, to the time domain. So when we do that, we get the current I as a function of time is equal to the amplitude, 0 0.12 amps. And then we write that as a time varying function of the cosine of omega t. Omega is still 60 t plus the phase angle, which in this case, the phase angle is going to be 120 degrees. And that would then be in terms of amps, and that would then be the current through the capacitor as a function of time. So you can see that when you convert, it makes it quite easy. This is easy to convert to the frequency domain. Then we realize that the voltage is the current divided by J omega C, or the current is V times J omega C. V, we already got from our original equation, J omega C is simply the omega times the capacitance. The phase angle is provided by J, which is a 90 degree phase angle. We multiply the amplitudes, add the phase angles, and then we convert back to the time domain. It's pretty straightforward when we do it that way.